So what is the situation on the ground with practicing cops, those still responding and engaging and making decisions? For that, we go to Green Bay and check in with the chief of police there, Adam Smith. And, Chief, thank you yes. so much for being here. You're welcome. Glad to be here. So I have read that you intend a refresher course for your officers in the use of force in the wake of what happened in Minneapolis. How important do you believe that kind of regular training is for your officers? I think it's critical. I think our officers need to know what their job is. They need to know what the rules are for their job. And we already started that. We met with all of our supervisors uh, just last week. And uh, we all sat down. We went over the Minnesota incident. We had our use of force trainers there. And the expectation is that every officer will receive a refresher on what happened in Minneapolis, what our policies say, and what our expectations are for our officers. Do your officers use methods like holding handcuffed suspects down uh, on their necks? No. That's specifically prohibited by our policy. We do not do that. And so if you had a refresher on use of force, what were the kind of most cogent takeaways um, from that for your officers? Well, we gave them a, a kind of a little bit of an overview about why we're able to use force, under what situations force is appropriate. Uh, but also we talked about the officer override. If you see another officer using force that's unauthorized or misapplying force, uh, we, we believe it's the responsibility of those officers to stop that from happening. And that was reiterated along with the basic rules of, you know, you don't put your knee on someone's neck. You don't put them down to the ground and hold them down pinned like that. And if somebody's gasping for air or calling for help, you take that as a serious, uh, a serious incident and needs to be acted on. You also say that law enforcement has a long way to go in terms of accountability. How so? Well, I think, uh, you know, it's a tough job out there, and uh, there's a lot of great officers doing great work every day. But I think that uh, we all come across the bad apple that you hear about. We come across officers who have a, a long history of, of getting in trouble. And I think it's awful tough to fire someone, um, quite frankly, that needs to be fired here in Wisconsin. And so um, I think it's incumbent upon the chiefs of police to make sure that they are holding their officers accountable at all levels. And I think the chief needs to be held accountable, too. We have a civilian police and fire commission here in Green Bay that holds me accountable. But I think across the board and across the country, um, accountability for officers is lacking. And it's really, really tough to fire a bad officer. You uh, marched with protesters in your city last weekend. What was that like? Um, well, it's not the first time I've marched with protesters. Coming from Los Angeles, I've, I've done that many times. But I was, uh, I was quite happy to be invited into the protest when they asked me to march with them. And of course, I, I, uh, I did. And what really I wanted to do was have the opportunity to listen to people, to hear what they say, to hear what they're concerned about, I understand their anger and I understand their frustration. But I really wanted to hear it from the people that were marching. You know, what's on your mind? Uh, what could we do better as a police department here in Green Bay? Before uh, that, you commented about how George Floyd died, saying it sickened you and it was one of the most horrible things that you had ever seen. Uh, while reading your statement and, uh, you know, about how you marched with the protesters, we also came upon uh, an article, and it gives me kind of no pleasure to raise this, about a family whose loved one was killed by police bullets in your city. Uh, and they called you out for your hypocrisy, saying, quote, we're outraged and deeply offended that you would use this time of tragedy uh, to make those statements, um, saying that your department is not at fault, they said, for the same unjust actions that have occurred to George Floyd's family. Uh, what, is your, what is your comment on that? Well, first of all, the, there's a lawsuit pending, so I can't speak about uh, any of the specifics of that cases. But these were two completely different cases. This one has already been reviewed. The one in Green Bay has already been reviewed by the district attorney's office, who declined to press any charges, of course. So um, they are two very different cases. I understand that family is very upset. Uh, but uh, again, there's a lawsuit pending. So I really can't talk about any specifics of that. All right. Well, Chief, we really appreciate you joining us. And uh, we wish you and uh, your city well. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you.